Oh, totally. Totally. They tell us, like, Barbara Streisand's in the audience, and I would search for her on stage. <laughs> Robert De Niro came, and that was super cool. Um, yeah, sometimes they won't. They'll, they'll ask us, do you want to know who's here? Say yes or no. Um, and I always tell them to make sure to tell me if, like, any cute teen vampires come to see it. My Robert Pattinson sees it, but no. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had some amazing people. Um, but I think Barbara Streisand was, like, the, the coolest one. No, she didn't come back, but, like, we're staring at her. And I was like... <laughs> um, Baz Luhrmann was another one for me. Like, I love all his films, and so he came back, and meeting him was really cool. Some people don't come back, though, because it's a lot. And it's just kind of us taking pictures with them. It's, like, bizarre. But, um, yeah, it's cool. I think, like, so many people come to see it, and... We find out after who was there. Or, we, or like on Twitter, I'll see like, I was at Matilda tonight, like my, Julia Roberts, but I didn't meet you. <laughs> the people are super cool. I had one weird one. Um, someone gave me a bunch of ears of corn in a bag and I literally was like, thank you. And they said this was just in my, my garden and I thought maybe you'd want corn and I was like, Am I, supposed to, am, I, am I corny? Is that why he like gave me the It was so random. But other than the ears of corn, everyone's been super cool. And like, I love me, I love, I'm always on Twitter. So I love the people like that I've talked to on Twitter when they come to see the show and they're like, I'm the one that was talking to you about my nail polish. And I'm like, oh my God, I put a name to a face, you know, a name to like a tweet. And um, a face to a tweet, that's what I meant. Um, and it's, I like that a lot, but the people are, People are awesome. A lot of people don't recognize me, though, at the stage for, at all. And I'm always in a hat, like, always, just because my hair is crazy after being in that wig. Um, so I come out, and I'm short and brunette instead of tall and blonde, and everyone always has to ask, who were you? And sometimes I lie. But um, <laughs> but it's been awesome. The, the, the fans have been super cool. Most of them always ask me when Ryan Steele's coming out. That's about it, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'll be signing for him and be like, do you know if Ryan's coming out? I'm like, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Literally, I'll be signing someone's program. They'll go, who are you? I'm like, never mind. <laughs> but it's fun. Like, I love it. You know, it's, the stage door is awesome. And I, I'm sure a bunch of people out there have, like, I usually draw on Gabe's headshot <laughs> with a mustache. <laughs> so it's fun for us, too. <laughs> The one that I did in, in London, um, the role that I played in Zorro was like the most fun. And I think just because I created it from day one and spent like seven years kind of getting it to a point before the West End. So that's definitely been my favorite. I also loved, um, I loved doing Audrey in Little Shop. I love that. And then I love, I love Mrs. Wormwood too. It's super fun. <laughs> oh, Evita. For sure, Evita. And so many people say that, but it really is. Like, since I was a kid, yeah. oh, I really, really, really want to do it. Stage. I like the theater. It just is, you know, you get, like, immediate reaction from people. Things go wrong, and you have to keep going. Film and TV is weird. I mean, sitcoms are fun because it kind of feels like theater when they're, if there's a live audience, because at least you get people laughing and... But if there's not a live audience, it's just weird. Like, it's silence, and you don't know if what you did was good because you don't hear a reaction. And then you also don't know what they're going to use of you. You don't have control over your performance. Someone else, an editor, has control over what your performance is. And in theater, it's all you. So I, I prefer that, and it's just fun. I don't think so. I think I would love to do like some recordings just of my own, but I never like never wanted to be like a, a recording star. Or a, you know, I like doing concerts of of people's new work. I like, and then I have a giant nightclub act that I do that that is, you know, it's a giant concert in itself. Um, and I'm doing that in a few weeks here, so I, I love doing that. And no, yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there are tons. There are so many. Um, I love Andrea Martin. I wish someone would like write us like you know something together. Um, 
I love her. I, you know, there are so many. So many. I'd love Cheetah Rivera. I would love to work with. Um, and then friends of mine, like like Megan Hilty, I would love to do something with. Or like Eden Espinosa, like like people that are my friends that I'd be like, it would be super fun to work together, but we just never get to. So yeah, I mean, there are tons. I'm always, I'm more starstruck, I think, with Broadway people than some of the film people. I hope they got somebody really pretty. <laughs> Someone prettier and thinner than me. Um, who would I pick? Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Who would play me? Who would play me in the movie of me? I don't know. I, would, I mean, I would hope they'd pick somebody funny. Maybe like, I don't know. There's no uh, me, me, me. I would play me in the movie of me. I'd probably be mad if <laughs> I didn't play me. <laughs> I don't know. That's hard. I don't know. I would want to do like I think one of the any of the ensemble that do Revolting Children. I'm dying to be in that number because they love it so much. And I watch it every night from the back of the theater. So I would want to be like one of them for sure. It'd be super fun. And I love Michael too. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Well, we've all fallen. I am like the worst scooter, scootress, scooter lady like ever. So our bow, I come down on a scooter, I've fallen off at least five times, but there was one night where I just ate it. Like we were coming down and I went into like a groove on the stage, completely fell off, my shoe fell off, the scooter is spinning, Gabe is laughing, and so I'm carrying a shoe and the scooter down to take my bow and I didn't even bow, I just went, and then went <laughs> and it's a horrible, um, let's see, yeah, like random little things, like nothing totally embarrassing except for falling. Um, Oh, yeah, I've fallen a lot, actually. I remember singing loud once, and I just tripped on stage. I look like I'm, I'm sure I look like I was drunk. I was not. I just tripped on my skirt. Um, but, but, yeah, nothing like, no, like costumes falling off yet or anything, but you're yeah, definitely the falling. It's falling all the time. The wormwoods are always falling. I don't know what it is, but, and, but it kind of works with our characters. Yeah. Michael Jackson thriller. Yeah. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. Michael Jackson thriller, for sure. Yeah. So weird because, like, I didn't know if I'd like New York. I'm such an L.A. girl. I'm a total L.A. girl. Um, but I really am liking it. I think, you know, I, I'm here for a while. I'm here until March, at least. Um, with Matilda and I think uh, hopefully someone else will hire me and I'll get to do another show or stay in Matilda. I don't know. I think I'll stay for a while. I, I definitely like Broadway and hopefully I'll get to do something else too. Yeah, I, I'm liking it and my dog's liking it too. So. <laughs>